Hey friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. I've been spending some time this week with the 2016 Lexus IS200T. It's got an all new engine this year. And because I'm kind of a nuts and bolts guy and a bit of a gearhead, and I know some of you out there are as well, I wanted to do this separate video that just sort of takes a tour under the hood here and show you what this new engine's all about. And right up front, the 2.0-liter 4-cylinder turbocharged engine has 241 horsepower at 5,800 RPM and 258 pound-feet of torque that comes on low from 1,600 to 4,400 RPM. Designated by Toyota as the 8AR FTS, it's the same engine found in the larger GS200T and similar to the one found in the NX200T. Making it unique for the IS and GS is its plumbing which starts with the air intake just above the grill and leads to the air filter box on the passenger side. The air then leads around front to a twin scroll turbocharger on the driver's side. Each scroll of the turbocharger is fed separately by cylinders 1 and 4 and 2 and 3 respectively. This is accomplished with a water-cooled two-plane exhaust manifold integrated into the cylinder head. One half is managed with a bypass valve, the other a wastegate. The air charge then routes around the back of the engine and through an air-to-water intercooler that's tough to see just like the turbocharger, but it's there. And with the engine cover on, it's hard to see much of anything. Aside of marketing, the reasoning for these engine covers starts with the fact that once it's off, the engine really isn't all that attractive to look at. In the era of plastic valve covers and complex fuel systems, they aren't as architecturally pleasing as they were back in the 1990s. Now the other reason they have engine covers now is because the latest generation of engines that have direct fuel injection are very noisy. They have a loud ticking noise those injectors make. It can be pretty noisy. So what they've done is on the underside of these covers they have this foam sound absorbing material and it actually works pretty effectively. Now this actually doesn't have very much material on it. I was quite surprised. Some of these covers when I pull them off it looks like a huge foam mattress underneath and that's simply because they don't want you hearing the ticking of those fuel injectors inside the car and making you think something's wrong. But next time you open the hood of one of these cars with direct fuel injection, give it a listen because they do make quite a bit of noise. And speaking of fuel, here it's managed with both direct and port fuel injection, a system Toyota calls D4ST. It allows for the continuous cycling of either or both fuel injection modes depending on the load, speed, or the boost. Adding to the variable nature of this engine's tune is also its unique wideband variable valve timing. Called VVTIW, its timing advance and retard range allows for the engine to operate in both an Atkinson or an auto combustion cycle. What this all boils down to is an engine that can tap into two modes of combustion, two modes of fuel injection, and two modes of boost control for the best of all worlds. The end result is an engine I found to be amazingly refined and smooth, with very little turbo lag, and it gets great fuel economy when you aren't flogging it. The downside to all of this, it's probably going to be very difficult to mod. Well, there you have it, the underhood tour for the 2016 Lexus IS200T. It's a pretty sweet little motor and it performs pretty good too. And in that way, we've done a complete test drive on this car and you can see that by clicking on the link down below in the information section. Also, click on the link right here on the screen and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We test drive one, sometimes two cars every week. Plus, we have a new video just like this one almost every single day. There's always something new. So stay tuned.